Today's video, we have another PSA return. So in here, we have uh, vintage soccer cards. Um, I haven't opened this up yet. I don't know what the grades are. This is from the grading club. Um, these have taken a while, but when you send vintage cards off, the weight on vintage cards is almost like double, if not three times the weight of uh, standard pre-modern, modern stuff. So, yeah, vintage stuff seems to take ages at PSA. I don't know if they don't prioritize it or if it goes into a different category. Who knows? But we have two parcels here. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and get these things open. Right, let's start with this one because I think we've only got one in here. I sort of remember what I sent off. I sort of don't. Oh no, that's not a good start. That's a bad start. So we've had something that's not graded. Oh dear. Right, let's see what it is. Oh, not this. Oh, for God's sake. I knew, do you know what? I knew they weren't going to grade that. I just knew it. No spec info, no, gra no grade. Yeah, okay, whatever. Unfortunately, they just... Yeah. It's going off to SGC. <clears throat> They'll know what it is. I'm sorry, PSA just, they don't, they don't, this is a little bit of a gripe with PSA. If you don't tell them exactly what the set is from, which to be fair, I didn't, fair enough. They just don't, they, I don't feel like they Google anything. They don't look. They don't search things up. They'll just be like, oh, well, you didn't give us the information, therefore we're not grading it. You can send anything you want to SGC anything you want and they'll grade it they'll know exactly what set it's from psa they say they've got the biggest database they know exactly what all the cards are in my opinion they don't so sometimes sgc is just best for the vintage stuff i won't lie right let's start off with card number one mexico 70 great start with a skew with slabs do you know what <laughs> i try not to have a whinge and a moan but they're supposed to be the top company and then you've got stuff that doesn't get graded because they don't know what it is. And then the first slab I look at, it's wonky. And this is like vintage stuff. You don't want stuff that's like damaged. You can see that corner's right up in the top there, probably getting bent and folded over. This corner's touching as well, the side. You know, just fix up a little bit, PSA. Come on. You're supposed to be the top company out there and really at times you can be the shoddiest honestly you can you can be the shoddiest message to you nat turner fix up mate your, your slabs are good but too many mistakes in my opinion right anyway says the guy who submits stuff once a once a quarter um anyway mexico 70 i think this is a gerd muller so let's see what it got Good, PSA 2.5. Well, it'll be a PSA 1 with the uh, the amount this moves in the slab. You know, as you can see, I've just straightened it up a little bit. PSA 2.5, uh, it's probably not going to go anywhere because it's only a 2.5. So it'll probably stay in the PC. Uh, amazing player, obviously, for, German by, for Germany and Bayern Munich. Yeah, World Cup winner. Ballon d'Or winner, I think. 90% sure. There we go. Not much to say. Uh, Calcio Torre, 1968 to 69. I think this might be... Oh, this actually might be the... Eusebio. Well, let's have a look. It is. And it's an excellent five. Which is not bad. To be honest, a five for a 1968 to 69 is not bad. Again, I don't think this is probably one that i'm gonna sell um i think when you look at vintage right i'm gonna go into a mini rant here when when there's stuff that's psa 10s and a psa 10 let's say this sticker might be worth i don't know 2k let's say as an example it may or i might be way off it doesn't really matter 2k a psa 9 might be worth 1500 a psa 8 might be worth i don't know uh if there's loads of them 500 and then when, once you get down to PSA 5s like this, 
they're, they're somewhere around sort of like 80 to 100 quid maybe. And I just think for a player as good as Eusebio, do I really want the 80 to 100 quid or can I, shall I just keep it and hold on to it? And that's kind of like, I'm always moving stuff. I am always, I, there's very few things that I don't sell. But I just think when there's a card that's that's old and you've graded it yourself and you know where you've picked it up, you know who you've picked. I could tell you I picked that up from Doug in a trade. So I know I know who I who I got it from. It's got a story behind it. There's just like 80 to 100 quid. It's just not worth it. So I think a lot of these I'll, I'll end up keeping. It may be worth more than that. If it is, maybe I'll sell it. But that sort of 80 to 100 quid mark, nah. Right, this is a really nice one. I'm glad this did get raided graded graded uh this is a di stefano uh in the madrid kit this is figurina regalo really really nice one let's see what it got psa3 alfredo uh sorry di stefano yeah alfredo di stefano tutti calciatori uh no explanation of what happened just then we'll just chalk that off uh 1968 to 69 mira Really, I mean, it's, it's a lovely card, isn't it? The back especially. I mean, have you ever seen a back as cool as that? The artwork, the detail. Look at look at the amount of detail that's gone into the back there. PSA 3 is absolutely fine. That's probably going to stay in the PC. Again, it's probably worth 50 quid. What's the point in selling it? Absolutely none. Uh, Euro Soccer Stars 77, Johan Cruyff. Now, this is a little bit off-centre, as you can see, left to right. It's, 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 the writing feels like it's kind of moved over to the left. Other than that, it's not it's not too bad, but it's a fairly old card. It's 1977, so we'll see what it gets. PSA 4, fair enough. As you can see, well, actually, as you can see, the left border here is uh, almost about five times the size of the uh, the right border. Again, it's just it's just a beautiful card. It's not really one that I would want to sell. Again, I don't know how much this is worth. 50 to 100 quid, somewhere around there. <laughs> you just don't. Not you can't you can't pick these up at card shows. I, I ne I've never ever seen these sorts of cards at card shows. I mean, not from vendors anyway. There might be people that are walking around with them, but from vendors, there's no way. I, I rarely ever see stuff. There, actually, I, I'll take that back. There's a couple of people, but I'm talking a handful, if that. Right, this is a Luis Suarez. Beautiful card. This is him at Inter Milan. Um, amazing player. Very, very, very decorated. Uh, let's see what this one got. The original Luis Suarez. PSA 3. Uh, it's not too bad. Again, it's what I think is one of these slabs that you can... It's going to move down a little bit. Uh, the slab obviously doesn't fit the card whatsoever. There's a huge gap here, which does worry me a little bit, but these are probably going to be stored safely. I mean, it's just like when you, when this is so right, and SGC are so good at doing this, by the way, when these are like, these are a fit, I mean, this one, not so much. We'll, we'll use the Cruyff as an example. This Cruyff, this... Um, border is perfect absolutely perfect but it's just it's just they just let themselves down with some of the some of the slab sizes and okay i know it's only an inch but you know it's not great but anyway a psa3 very good is not too bad you're looking at a 1965 card here psa3 is not so bad um i don't know how common this card is um so I don't know. I don't know if this is super rare or not. There was uh, a lot of these cards I did actually pick up off uh, an Italian guy at the London Card Show. He, uh, I didn't see him at the show. And then he just had basically had a binder of stuff set up at trade night. And this was the, one of the first times it was at Sandown. So it was a, probably about three or four years ago now. I was looking for his stuff and I was thinking, I've been looking all day for this sort of stuff. And I hadn't seen him throughout the day. And I said, are you accepting trades? And he was like, no, 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 cash, cash, cash. And you could see he wasn't, um, he was a, a very old school kind of pick these stuff up himself. Or there was shows in Italy um, that, that he'd attended, that he'd pick stuff up from. Or he's got, he's got kind of a private collectors that he, he speaks with. 
uh intelligent guy knew what he was talking about knew what he had um but yeah i ended up picking up this and the uh de stefano was from him as well i think and then there was a couple of other bits i picked up at like a caca uh 2002 i think it was panini calciatori which you gave me for a really good price because i guess that sort of stuff just is is pretty common over there um it's the home of italy it's the home of panini isn't it italy so yeah it does make sense and finally we've probably saved the best till last now this won't get a good grade not at all i'm expecting a a z what, what's the lowest grade a zero one oh no an authentic maybe or a one um but this is and you don't see these come up very often this is a bobby moore rookie card so this is the ambc bobby moore rookie card um when you do see them come up in big in like decent i don't ever see these come up graded Maybe if you're on PWCC or Golden, you'll see them all the time. But in terms of eBay, they're always raw. And there was a really good raw copy that sold recently, and it did sell for a lot more than the this copy that I picked up. But we're expecting one. But he's a player that captained England to the, uh, the 1966 World Cup. He played for West Ham. He played for Fulham, my team. Um, so, yeah, amazing, amazing defender, amazing, amazing player, amazing, amazing man. Let's see what we got. I'm expecting a one. There we go. It got a one, which is absolutely fine. I mean, you can you can see on the corners here, it's beaten, it's battered. Uh, there's like a, a dot on the face there. There's a lot going on, but it's not every day that you can pick one of these up. And um, yeah, I've just, again, there's just no point in selling this. Um, when you see cards like this, and this is kind of where I'm at, is that, it takes so long for a card like this Bobby Moore here to come up for a reasonable price on eBay. Since collecting, I haven't seen one where I've actually been able to be like, oh, okay, I can afford that, or that seems like a price where that's within my budget, where I'm not spending like... Because I always try and keep my PC as modest as possible, and I don't really want to go mental and start spending thousands of pounds on my PC. I'm not a rich guy. I, I don't earn tons and tons of money i don't make any money really off youtube social media anything so i try and keep my pc as, as literally as minimal and as uh cheap as possible but i do like to pick up the odd nice thing and I, I i like bobby Moore and i wanted to pick up a rookie but it probably took me about three years for that card to come up on ebay where i'm like yeah okay that's i'm actually willing to to fork out for that and it wasn't i'm not talking breaking the bank we're not talking thousands of pounds here but for me to sell that on, at like to break even or at a loss or just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make any sense. And I like my stuff PSA graded because I like I make, I like for it to be protected. Um, and so, yeah, obviously that's important to me. The, the, the grade on PC stuff really doesn't matter. You kind of, you do just put it in a PSA slab because everything else is in a PSA slab and you want it, you want it displayed and, um, you want it encapsulated and you want it protected. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I just like to display my cards is either in um, the the kind of the magnetic card holders or or PSA slabs. That's that's pretty much me now. But there we are. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash a massive like on the video. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you're into vintage cards at all. Super disappointed with this uh, this Mazapus. I might even, as a point, I might even, might even just send that off to SGC and don't even tell them what it is and see what they say. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident they will know what it is. Uh, Mazapus was a, a Czechoslovakian. Czechoslovak. He was a a player for the Czech Republic. Um, Czechoslovakian. There we go. Czechoslovakian football player that won a Ballon d'Or. Um, he only won one Ballon d'Or, so he's kind of one of those uh, ones that people maybe haven't heard of or, or don't know much about him. But he is a Ballon d'Or winner. Um, yeah, Joseph Mazepust, you can look him up. But this was uh, this was one of the cards that I picked up off the uh, the Italian collector. Um, I have seen them online. I know they're legit, but PSA just obviously, well, 
they've just put no specific info so that they, they, i i guess i guess they don't do their own research i guess that's that's what we have to do which which is fine if that's the way they work that's the way they work but i know sgc have they seem to have a much better database because i've sent them some obscure items before that psa haven't graded that they have um so there we are if you have enjoyed this video smash a massive like on it does really really help and i'll see you on the next psa graded submission you shouldn't have to wait too long because uh jim has got a another vintage uh, lot for me they have popped he should have them soon and I, I hopefully should be picking up uh those cards very 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 soon so there we are hope you have enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one thanks very much mm -hmm.